I was walking through the streets of Manhattan and I just, everyone I looked at had either an iPhone and they were texting or they were swiping the screen or they had earphones in and they were talking to someone or listening to music. And I just felt like I was making eye contact. No one was looking at me. And actually they were looking right through me and I felt so alone. And I was just thinking, gosh, and actually there was a huge rush out of the subway and I almost got run over. There's a kind of a roughness in the city. And I'm just thinking, gosh, in this city of eight and a half million people, why do people feel so isolated? Like, why are we feeling so alone when we're this emphasis on communication, being connected? There's a sense of loneliness in our culture. There's a desire in every human heart to be known, to be loved, to be cherished. God draws close to each of us and he wants to reveal to us his love and his kindness. Do we notice the, t the ways with which he breathes his love, his kindness upon us? Do we notice all the different ways with which he desires to pour torrents of love upon us? We long to be, be told that we are loved when we take off our masks and we reveal our true authentic selves, that beneath all of it, we are loved. In the Psalms, again and again, we hear, for his love endures forever. It's like a drumbeat all throughout scripture. God is revealing his kindness, his gentleness, his love, and his tenderness. Let me share with you a little secret I learned from St. Ignatius of Loyola. He encourages people to take twice a day just to recall the things that they're grateful for, like specifically things that happened throughout the day. And you know, maybe it's just like very concrete things like someone's laugh, you know, or the beautiful fall leaves and the colors and the vibrancy, or the stillness after a snowfall, or a really funny joke someone just told you a couple hours ago. Yeah. These, when I started doing this in my life, recalling twice a day things that I was grateful for and thankful for, it was overwhelming to see and to experience the, the revelation of God's kindness and his love for me. I just encourage you to take time twice a day just to thank God for specific things in your day and you'll be amazed at how much God loves you, He cares for you, He delights in you, He is for you. We are privileged to serve women who have suffered the effects of abortion. You know, a lot of them come to us feeling um, burdened, They're, there's a, a mix of shame, guilt, sorrow, regret, and we desires so much and God desires even more to reveal his love and his kindness and his forgiveness and healing to them. And one of the women that came to us, her name is Eileen, she said all her life after her abortion, that's all she could identify herself with was her past abortions. And then little by little, God revealed to her after she went to confession and the day of prayer and healing that she wasn't defined by those abortions, but defined by God's tender love for her. So this Advent, I just invite you and encourage you to call upon those moments and identify the ways with which God is constantly pouring out torrents of love. So maybe it's thanking him for that, that amazing conversation you had with your coworker or um, noticing the beauty of the light shining through the leaves and thanking him for that. And so when you experience those particular moments, say a prayer. Yeah. God loves you. He is for you. He cares for you.